my first mind, my first instinct was, hey, hold on, homeboy. You know, I understand you may be pissed off about something, but you just snatched that, that, that paper from me. What's up, y'all? What's up? First of all, I want to thank you guys for the supporting for the shirts, the hats, subbing, liking the video, sharing them, whatever you may have done. Contribute to the channel, to the brand. I appreciate you. Now, that clip at the beginning, y'all, let's be real. I did that for you. Who? You. Now, the reason I said it is because y'all follow me, y'all know um, I go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? I'm able and, and blessed enough to be able to go to the gym. Uh, so I actually was at the gym the day before yesterday. Then when recording this video, I was there yesterday. But I said, you know, I said I was gonna show something that you can do while you, uh, you know, out at a truck stop or wherever. And um, I just happened to be, that was my first load this morning. I was delivering in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, so yeah, I decided it's still dark. Got there early enough. Like I like to get to my stops like uh, 30 minutes to an hour before. A lot of times I do cardio. You know just some kind of activity but this morning i said i'm gonna go ahead and do this do this for my people so i did that and um then i took a nap you know what i'm saying <laughs> took a nap and got rolling yeah the video though i want to teach i want i want to tell y'all something that i believe is an awesome life lesson that i got back when i was a, a company guy um hauling fuel around and the funny thing about this is this actually happened to me today when today where i have to actually uh um, put this stuff in the application you know what i'm saying so life lesson i learned i got it from like i say from a slip seat if y'all don't know slip seat the people who uh when you're driving day cabs well that's what i was doing with it you're driving day cabs locally you do your shift you come in and somebody else drive that same truck uh, and, and you keep going fuel fuel game gas game is a 24-hour business so yeah that's how that roll man that's Roll. Let me explain what I was doing real quick. I'm a little exercise. So the first one I was doing was um, squats, right? So squats are good for, you want to go like parallel. I'm not sure how I went when I'm saying parallel with like your bigger knees, your butt kind of go like right, right there. And then go back up. You do that, you work in your lower body. So, you know, that's the, that's the benefit of doing work in your lower body. I think I did like 10 or 12, I don't really remember. And then I followed it up with some push-ups, and then followed that up. I did like 20, and then followed it up with uh, some jumping jacks. I think it was like 20. So what you would do, that's what I did. But what you would do, guys, you would do that like, try to do that um, back to back if you can, like let's say three times. 
take you, you know, a little break, a minute to break, do it three more times. If you do the same old rinse, repeat one more time, a total of three times. You better be some good, your, your heart, trust me, ought to be pounding is good for your heart. You know what I'm saying? Good activity on the way to become a better, healthier you. So here we go, man. So this is what happened. All right. I was in Tulsa, Oklahoma when I, as I mentioned earlier, when I um, delivered that load. I was already pre from yesterday. So then I went on down to Antlers, Oklahoma. Yeah, folks, Antlers. I'm sure you never heard of that. But uh, went to Antlers, Oklahoma to pick up what I just showed y'all actually in the background, right? Um, so I'm the first one uh, at this yard. Now they had like the, the logs. I should have took a picture, but if I can find one, on Google or something, I'm putting video. So they had like the log trucks, and then they had just regular flatbeds. And um, so I was on the side of regular flatbed. The first one to check in, it was a truck literally like right behind me, pulled up probably like about 60 seconds after I did. And so um, they were at the scale house where they give you the paper and tell you where to go. I go to the shipping place, the shipping building. Uh, they you know, pretty much check me in there, give me a paper and say, go back to your truck. Fort Left guy should come out to you in short order. Load you up. I bet. Cool. So, Fort Left guy came out maybe about like 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Short order. It was pretty short. It's pretty cool. Came out to me. Um, dude say, uh, check this out. Check this out. The moment I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. Tell you exactly how it happened. So, he came. He said, uh, he snatched the paper. So, I let the window down, right? Because the window up. A little hot outside. So let the window down. I was actually on the, on the phone with a homie of mine, right? So I let the window down. Uh, you know, give the paper to him, snatch the paper, and he say, make sure y'all can hear me, because uh, I'm not trying to be funny with the truck backing up. Y'all gonna feel my ears for the hookup. So he had to do with the paper, right? Well, I'm sorry, he snatched the paper. And he gonna say, Oh, these got truck drivers. You know, I don't really cut. You know what I'm saying? So she say, Oh, these got truck drivers coming at lunchtime. Now you're not looking at me when you say this. You're looking down the whole time. But well, he's very loud, okay? My first mind, my first instinct was, hey, hold on, homeboy. You know, I said you may be pissed off about something, but you just snatched that that, that paper from me. And I ain't got nothing to do with this. We're gonna go to lesson right here, y'all. I'm gonna continue to tell y'all what happened. And you know what? I'm not gonna continue. I'm gonna continue to tell y'all what happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna get the rest of the lesson real quick. So that's how I was feeling, right? I was legit feeling just like that. I had that, I had that, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you bow the head up, like, bro, I had that going on. So I was really feeling that. And um, so now you're looking at the paper, right? Look at the paper, you say, uh, now you mumbling on. And then I realized this ain't really even about me, right? So you mumbling on, you say, I'm not looking for that. You get your fat about that shit enough, you go find it. Now, he's still not looking at me. He's looking down the whole car like this. So now, he just turn around, wave me, say, let's come over here. Go over there, and uh, wherever it was, and then he started loading me up, right? Actually, it wasn't quite just that fast. I don't know what he did. He kind of took out and ducked out. Here go to more, y'all. More of this story. Here go a big, big lesson, a life lesson to take with you, is that old Pam was her name, right? Pam told me she was a military lady. I learned a lot of little things from Pam. Pam was tough on me. Pam was tough on you, boy. I was a young man. When I was working there, I was, um, saw working there like 25. So I was young, but Pam would just give it to me. But that's what she told me. She said, never let your money get mad. Not at the time. I didn't understand what she meant. And that's just how I am. If I don't understand, I'll just be like, all right, all right. I'll be like, what that mean? So she said, um, you know, sometimes you get pissed off about something. You make a decision that you later regret, right? I said, okay. So what she was saying was, that was just in that situation. What she was saying was, at the end of the day, she said, don't make business decisions. I'll make, make another different video about that, but it's in the same line. Don't make business decisions while you're emotional. Now, that load was paying me uh, about four and a half dollars a mile. Actually, it was right at five, right? I was 
wasn't going that far. It was only right at five where I was going. You know what I'm saying? It was right at five thousand miles. If I had reacted how I was feeling, what I was thinking, I probably would have lost the load. Because you guys know at any time at any place, they got the right to refuse you. And they all got to load you. You know what I'm saying? So I've seen people quit jobs because they let their money get mad, even though they need their job to pay them bills. Because them bills keep coming when? How often? At least every month, right? So um, I thought that it was a very, very valuable life lesson that got put to the test. Like I say, I, I feel like it was rude and disrespectful. You know what I mean? Like, even though you may be pissed off about something and all that, I ain't said a word. You know what I'm saying? Brother didn't even have a chance to speak to him. Just letting the window down as he got his hand out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that, that, that's my thing, though. Keep business and personal separated. Uh, we good? I need the paper. So let me get the paper. Stuff. I got to go back? Okay. So... Okay. All right. So yeah, keep keep the two separated. All right, because you can't afford to lose your job if you can. I'm not telling you what you can and can't do. You're not in a position where you before lose your job. Or in my case, lose a load that was a very easy load. You know what I'm saying? Because I got pissed off and I want to do some verbal jabbing with them. But at the end of the day, one gonna pay my truck insurance. One gonna pay the tires. Actually, I need another tire, which is what I'm finna go do. That guy was just telling me that um, that paper I got him, that that was his, I gotta go back to the front office and get my own. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna go back up there. So, I'm I gotta get another tire for to show y'all that. Um, but that's what I mean by that would have been less money than I gotta spend on maintenance and stuff like that if I would let my attitude get the best of me. So, let me see if y'all can see that. See the grooves right here? Yeah got grooves in here see that yeah it's time so i could get away with it for a little bit but i don't need to bother i'm actually right around the corner from a truck shop which is i mean from a tire shop within my benefit that's it y'all take that with you uh comment down below any life lesson that you may have to help people in the community to help me because i don't know it all i just share my experience okay wrap it up here keep it in mind stay on the grind and day at a time Salute!